We're Thank so you. happy to be here today. And uh, this new program, Entertainment, Arts, and Sports Law at the University of Miami School of Law, what an exciting time, and what an exciting time to study these subject areas. So the school has said, OK, we hear you. We understand that this is a level of interest. We also happen to think that these industries are thriving. And we are going to create a program proactively to better immerse you in the industries and to give you the practical skills necessary to practice in them. In building a unique program, um, there were some core foundational courses that we could not do without. Correct. Um, so maybe, um, Peter and Harold, if you want to touch on maybe some of the core foundational courses that are required and, and why require these courses. You need to be a sophisticated corporate commercial lawyer to practice in the sports arena. You can't even consider getting into representing the Dolphins or any of the teams or any of the superstar athletes that we've worked that I've worked with over the years without being the best lawyer uh, they could possibly find in, in, in the discipline for which they've hired you. There's not a week that goes by, well, let's say three or four times a month, I get a <laughs> call or an email saying, Professor Yaris, I want to be an art lawyer. Can I talk with you about how I do that? Um, and right. inevitably, my first remark back is, well, you have to become a good lawyer. Right. We have all found that, in fact, the needs of the talent and the athletes and the companies that are engaged in these industries have expanded to require their lawyers to be good lawyers mm -hmm. at, the prob at, at addressing the Absolutely. problems that they have. Mm -hmm. Not just a contract between an athlete and his or her team, but a contract between an athlete and a branding company who is going to be licensing that person's image. As their needs expand, we respond to meet those needs. Most of the core foundational required courses occur in the fall is because we want the students to be prepared for the elective courses in the spring. They will get the most out of those elective courses, like Peter's, like Stephen's, like mine, if they've gotten the core foundational training. Absolutely, and couldn't Absolutely. ask for a better place to do it with all the professional sports teams here, the golf, the tennis that's here at the professional level, the minor league and major league baseball. I'm heavily immersed in minor league baseball as well uh, all throughout the summer. And we want to bring this, all of this to uh, our students' attention. Yeah, Absolutely. and equally true, as Peter points out, in the entertainment industry, uh, Miami is a vibrant community in, um, in motion picture and television production distribution, certainly in music, branding, um, it's the gateway to Latin America and all that that stands for. And we just don't think there's a better place to be studying these industries than here. I assume the same is true in the art track right now, right? right now, the visual arts in Miami, are, is, they are growing, they're vibrant. Um, and both in terms of artists and gallerists, and also in terms of collectors and institutions. So um, it is a vibrant scene here. And all these great one credit immersion courses in the spring culminate with the practicum. practicum. Correct. And Harold, maybe you want to touch on a couple of minutes of how the practicum is going to be structured and what we have in mind? Well, a practicum is a requirement mm. for the degree. We are reaching out and we are encouraging and supporting the students in reaching out to companies, law firms, individuals in these industries to bring them on on a part-time basis, probably starting in the middle of March and continuing through the end of April, so that they have direct contact with people in the industry doing the kinds of work that our students think they want to be doing. It helps them to formulate their own ideas for their futures. It introduces them to people who may be useful to them, even if they're not hiring them. And we, we just don't see a substitute for it. And so we are dedicating a substantial portion of the spring term to seeing that objective. Right, and that's the beauty with the structure of that spring semester because they are taking these one week compressed right. intensive courses. The end of the semester is left for an immersion in exactly. your practicum, not to be geographically constrained to Miami as, as Stephen Precisely. just brought out. So that, that, that's something I think we're all excited for.